Hi guys, it's Nathan from Notifier. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick video on sort of one of my, my favourite tools um, that I I use, I guess, for sort of managing everything. Um, originally it's made for just sort of documentation um, of your, just internal documentation, I guess, for your sort of business. So you can write out sort of guides and things or just anything that you need to sort of document. Um, and and now they they have a lot of other things like sort of tasks and and project management and sort of databases built in internally um so it's sort of like an all in one tool um which i i really like and i sort of go for the same concept for with with notify trying to bring sort of multiple different tools together to deliver value in that particular way um so the name of the tool is notion the website is notion.so i'll put that down in, in the description below um so essentially, as you can see here, it's designed to replace Google Docs, um, Jira, Evernote, GitHub Wiki, Trello, Dropbox, Paper, I'm not too sure what that is, and, um, and Confluence. Um, and just, yeah, I guess, organize everything within your within your company. And um, I think it sort of does that really well. You know, I've got quite a small team here, but already there are just a lot of things that I need to sort of uh, write out and sort of build out guides for and that way it's much easier to just um, build out sort of processes for just saying like you can have a look in our sort of documentation rather than having to sort of re re explain it every time um, and just sort of logging everything myself as well so um, this is the, the sort of general layout of it this is actually my whole whole one this is actually my complete one for for notifier um, which I, I'll, I'll share with you quickly. So, um, I mean, my sort of main interest is within sort of marketing. Um, so this is all sort of shared, the workspace is all shared with your team, whoever's in your team is going to be able to see this, um, which is really good for building documentation. So, you know, these are a load of guides I've sort of written out um, just purely on, on marketing. Um, and if you drop down, you see internally within there, there's um, sort of more in-depth, more in-depth stuff and um, whenever I see like a good article or something online um, I'll also just sort of add it in here um, under the specific uh, sort of, I guess some category that it's related to um, I, I think that's a sort of very good practice that way anyone within your your team can easily just go in and sort of click in there and, and read some sort of high quality articles that you've you've already sort of found and um, and approved um, I, I I literally use it for for everything now. Um, for example, even on YouTube, which I'm starting to sort of scale out on my um, YouTube uh, marketing. Um, this these are all sort of uh, just a, a quick checklist that I built to to go through and and of, of where to promote YouTube videos whenever I create them. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's quite long. These are all ideas for videos that I'll be releasing in this in the very sort of near future um, and starting to sort of work through now. So there's, there's quite a few of them there, uh, more more than quite a few. Um, and then these are the sort of guides that I, I've decided to write out for, for Notify um, that I'll sort of be building as well. So anyone within my team can sort of come here and, and sort of go, for, go for it. Um, which I think is just, just really good and it keeps everything sort of very organized. And for example, here are a few of the other things that they have, like um, you can create a, a sort of table within a spreadsheet. Um, I don't actually use this for some reason. I, I still prefer to use Airtable, um, even though this pretty much has all of the same features. I, I still pay for another subscription of of Airtable just because I prefer it. But um, for, for basic, I guess, management of sort of data and, and things like this, um, I mean, this, this should more than sort of fit your needs. Um, I know that people even use it as like a, a CRM um, as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, the other thing that I really like is that if, if you embed um, sort of media and, and videos, um, it automatically uh, like actually, actually embeds the content within the page. So it's not like you're just showing a link and you have to go in and click through to it. For example, this is CodePen, which is like a... Um, sort of front-end development and design site and if I just embed the code um, for, for the code pen you see it gives a fully interactive version of it um, the same works for uh, I'm in a hotel right now so I think the internet isn't that great um, which is why it isn't loading but the same works for sort of uh, for YouTube you know if you embed a video it's actually going to embed the content itself so you can you can play it directly from within Notion 
so all in all this is probably one of my favorite um favorite apps that i've discovered this year um they have it for desktop for ios and android so i also use it on the go so the other feature that i really like on notion is the web clipper um you know previously I would like bookmark any articles that I found on online and um, it would be in Google Chrome, but obviously it's not organized at all. You know, it's very messy and all over the place. And then maybe once every couple of months, I would go through all of the articles that I've bookmarked and um, and have to try and arrange them in some <laughs> in, in some description. Notion also solves that problem. So they have the web clipper where if you click this um, Chrome extension uh, up the top right here, it says 35K leads in 20 days. Um, so whatever that's m relevant to, you know, maybe I would look in, uh, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe within leads and, and this will then save it as a, um, as an article within leads. And for example, if I found some new Instagram marketing article that I found quite interesting, I could just go and bookmark it directly there. And that means you're just sharing it with your, sorry, excuse me. It means you're sharing it with your whole team. So under each different section that I have um, in the marketing section, for example, uh, under um, uh, under SEO, I have like resources, and that's where any interesting articles I find, I'll like I'll tag them there. Um, Reddit again, any more interesting articles I found, I'll tag them there, and it just means that you can tell someone from your team to look over these resources and. And it's just a quick way for them to sort of learn and, and pick up things. Um, so, yeah, other than that, the um, probably the best thing about Notion is uh, it's the pricing as well. It is it's five dollars per month, which for the amount of value and organization it offers me. Actually, no, sorry, I've, I've just lied there. Um, it's actually free for a, a thousand megabytes of block storage. And I only had to upgrade quite recently to a premium premium five dollar per month plan. But I have a hell of a lot of information on on my my notion. Um, I've got no idea how many pages I have. Probably over two hundred to three hundred, um, and and so much sort of content that I've embedded as well. Um, and only recently did I have to to upgrade to it. So you can get started with it for free. Um, I definitely recommend that that you do. Um, it solves so many problems for me, especially as like an entrepreneur, you're trying to stay organized with everything, and this just consolidates all of your information in one place and makes it accessible to your to your whole team so um i highly recommend it for, for any startup um following on from this i'm going to start doing like reviews of um apps tools and, and plugins that I'm, I'm using in my sort of tech stack um and, w and what's working be best for me um so I'll, I'll be doing a few others on for example slack i, I absolutely love Airtable is another app that i'm that I absolutely love and uh, yeah I'll just be sort of showing how I'm how I'm using them to make my my business more productive and um, and maybe you can apply some of the, the same principles to to your own so um yeah other than that uh, I'll just give this a quick rating um I would have to give notion five out of five um it is by far my favorite app I've discovered this year and yeah that's why I'm, I'm sharing it with you because I'd I recommend that you use it too thanks for watching